Hey, what's up, guys? It's Silver here. Welcome back to the channel, man. I hope you guys have a great, beautiful Saturday, man. Thank you guys for joining me once again. And real quickly, before we get into the video, thank you guys so much for the support recently. Everything's been popping off with YouTube and TikTok, so thank you guys so much. I really do appreciate it. And if you guys are new to the channel, drop a like and subscribe. I post daily Call of Duty videos and I live stream as well. And if you guys want to support me even more, join the Discord server down below. But today, we're going to be talking about how skill based matchmaking makes no sense how it's ruined call of duty you know call of duty is just not fun anymore because of it and why you just don't want to be a good player at all like literally at all okay so let's get right into the nitty gritty so the first thing i want to talk about is how skill-based matchmaking ruined cod it ruined cod in a lot of ways it made people literally have to reverse boost vpn cheat do so many things to just not have spm ruin their gaming experience man if you guys didn't know it's super easy to buy a vpn for cheap and or really expensive vpn and it'll work like a charm it's really easy to reverse boost on their main account buy a reverse boost account and or buy bot lobbies in warzone and or modern warfare 3 and it's super easy to find cheats online all you have to do is search up call of duty cheats and you go on these really sketchy websites and you gotta you know look around for it you have to ask around for the cheats and all that stuff on twitter on youtube on discord so it's super easy to find skill-based matchmaking ruined call of duty because it forced players who don't cheat to sweat 24 7 and also find players that just want to chill to find methods that don't have bad spmm what i mean by that is literally someone like me who wants to be good for the videos and all that stuff but off camera when i'm playing with my cousins playing with my friends playing with other people that don't play the game a lot like nikawada and carps i don't want to sweat i want to chill and talk to them but when i have to play with them we have to find different methods to not have that bad of skill-based matchmaking so we don't get into good lobbies and we don't have to sweat 24 7. and finding methods to not have that bad of skill-based matchmaking is really really tedious man i've had to try out different game modes in the quick play section skill-based matchmaking is so harsh and so prevalent in today's call of duties that i have to search for methods to get easier lobbies without reverse boosting vpning and or cheating i had to search up best ways to drop a nuke without spmm getting in the way and you know what they said test out hardpoint domination kc and other game modes in the quick play section and or the featured playlist that might not be as populated for most of my new gameplays you guys see that i'm not in small map mosh pit and all that stuff i'm in quick play game modes because there's less sweats i don't have to sweat as much and the SPM is not that harsh and prevalent in those game modes and playlists. And I shouldn't be having to do that. I hate to admit that I do that, but I don't want to be doing that at all. I'm just trying to make the game as chill as possible for me when I'm offline, when even when I'm recording as well. With the skill-based matchmaking nowadays being so prevalent and harsh on good players, good players are expected to carry your team in any game mode, from multiplayer to rank to warzone, dude. I've had multiple games in Warzone where I have 10 plus kills and my teammates have literally no damage or little to no kills. In multiplayer, it is clear as day for me when I have 50 kills in a KC domination and or hard point match and my teammates, the second person running up, it only has like 15 kills and everyone else has less than 10 kills. Skill based matchmaking makes it so you as the player, as the good player, is expected to carry your team every time. Bro, I want to get carried sometimes, man. I want to be a baby. I want to be cradled up sucking on a man's nipple, okay, in Call of Duty. I don't want to be sweating 24-7 and have to carry my teammates all the time, man. I want to be cradled up sometimes and just put the rest, dude. Because, dude, my fingers hurt. My brain hurts having to think, like, what the hell happened to my teammates, man. But it's ridiculous. Skill-based matchmaking makes it so you as a good player are forced and expected to carry your team and if you guys lose it's on you because you didn't do good enough that's absolutely ridiculous before in the old call of duties it used to be perfectly balanced to where both teams had good players some bad players and some medium players that all contributed something and i feel like this perfect team balance that they had in modern warfare 2 black ops 1 black ops 2 modern warfare 3 and all the other call of duties before i would say the futuristic call of duties between those games the, the team balancing for, and the skill-based matchmaking was legit perfect because it would have both teams stack up with some good players, some medium players, and some bad players. The bad players would be playing objective. The mid players would literally be only getting kill streaks and a couple of kills and some comms out there. And the good players would just be fragging out and dominating the game. And this is going to carry over to the next thing I want to talk about. And this perfectly ties into what I wanted to talk about next, which was skill-based matchmaking doesn't work correctly. The way it is now, it is literally 
good players go on the bad player side if you have a lower score per minute bad kd and or you just had a bad game you go with the very best player and then everyone else that's to like mid to like all right and a little bit of good they go on one team and that one that second team that has literally everyone that team dominates the team that's just that best player with all the bad players bro it should not be working like that for my case for multiplayer especially i've seen it dude i've had to carry the load and i see my kills i have like 30 kills right it's like mid game 30 kills right 25 and my teammates either have like six seven three i saw someone with one kill five minutes into a game of hard point i don't know how that happens but it just did and then the other team would just have 20 kills 19 17 10 10 10 5 right so they are perfectly balanced but that second team that has you know balanced kills and all that stuff that's how skill-based matching should be working it should be matching the teams with some bad players some mid players some good players it shouldn't be the best player is with all the worst players bro it should not be like that it should either be perfectly balanced teams and i in my opinion i think that the teams need to be balanced more and actually make sense and or there should just be no skill-based matchmaking at all because i just don't believe that there was skill-based matchmaking back then in the older call of duties there might have been but it wasn't as harsh and prevalent and noticeable as it is in today's call of duty if you're a good player then you need to hear this the better that you get at call of duty the more skill-based matchmaking will fuck you in the ass bro good players are being punished for being good at cod by dealing with bad teammates and being matched up with the worst teammates man the only way skill-based matchmaking works properly is if you're in a five or six stack in multiplayer and or a three to four stack in warzone if you're a good player the better you do the better lobbies you're gonna get which is honestly fine right but the worst teammates you're gonna get it doesn't make sense how that is it should literally be so balanced man i don't know how they perfected the formula literally like 10 12 years ago with these older call of duties that are out of date that are nostalgic for us i don't know how they perfected skill-based matchmaking back then and they somehow have fucked it up for multiple Call of Duties now. Like the differences between old CODs matchmaking and skill-based matchmaking compared to newer Call of Duties, skill-based matchmaking and matchmaking is prevalent, dude. You can literally see it day and night, bro. Old Call of Duty skill-based matchmaking was absolutely insane. It was literally so balanced. It was perfect. It was literally perfect. I don't know how else to describe it, but other than perfect. Like in some cases, right? When I was growing up, when I was like six, seven years old playing Black Ops 1, Black Ops 2, I would get shit on all the time, but I would want to get better because I know I, sh I would start shitting on people. And that's what I did in Black Ops 2. After I got better at sniping, I started shitting on people with, with the ballista and the fucking DSR. And that's because the balancing, the way it made it was everyone. I had good teammates. I had bad teammates. I was in the mid range. And then I was going against good people, mid people, and bad people. And I wanted to be like the good people. So that motivated me to keep getting better at call of duty and then when i became good i would wouldn't have to sweat 24 7 i would have a good game a bad game a decent game i wouldn't have to get 40 50 kills in a kc domination and or hard point game mode i could do like 25 30 be mid as hell some games and other games i could do really bad and still win i could do really mid and still win i could do really good and still win right and even if I did good and we lost, I understand why. Because their team was just a better team. How they played in a lot of stuff and they played the objective. I understood that. But in newer Call of Duties, the way it is, it's just it just makes no sense. The difference is literally there. It's literally there. You are literally forced to carry your team 24-7. To sweat 24-7. Anytime you get on the game, it feels like you're doing a job, bro. The reasons why you lose now in Call of Duty in Warzone and or multiplayer it's because you just didn't do enough you just didn't get enough kills you just didn't carry hard enough and there's just no motivation to get better at call of duty anymore for a lot of people man because skill-based matchmaking will fuck you in the ass and the last thing i'm going to talk about for this video is why i'd rather be a bad call of duty player now than a good one right now dude as a bad player i get to experience getting shit on 24 7 just not being good right and as a good player 24 7 i have to sweat carry my team try hard find ways to you know reverse the skill-based matchmaking it's not fun being a bad player in call of duty is more fun than being a good player because as a bad player you can learn how to play the game you can learn the metas how to build a gun how maps work and all that stuff and just relearning that sounds really fun but as a bad player as well your skill-based matchmaking isn't that harsh on you dude it's perfect as a bad player you literally get matched up with good players medium players 
and bad players. Since you're not the best, you're not you don't you don't have to carry. You can just chill, right? You can have a decent game here and there. I'd rather be all right in Call of Duty than the best in Call of Duty right now, bro. Okay. And then the reason is it's not because I don't like to carry and or I don't like to play good. I just don't like having to carry the load 24 7 because the game forces me to if the game didn't force it i would enjoy carrying i would enjoy sweating dude because it shows how really good i am but it's it's not the case anymore man newer call of duties skill-based matchmaking and team balancing needs to be adjusted because it's getting ridiculous out here man and that's the bottom line because i said so peace